making a return. Justin Wong, you know, yep. typically doing a lot of content creation lately, but showing up strong um, in tournaments as well. You know, just one of the best of the one of the greatest of all time to, to yes, touch the absolutely. sticks. Yes, absolutely. And um, absolutely. I love that you brought up Punk because I was talking to Punk earlier, and he he was telling me that he was considering playing Kage this weekend after oh, wow. the changes to Kage because yeah. they gave. They gave Kage the juice. That's they what did. they did. They were like, let's they sprinkle did. a little bit of that, that evil Ryu flavor Yeah, a little there. bit of evil Ryu. A just give a little bit of Akuma in there. Just Absolutely. A little, just a little bit of Akuma in there. Yeah. You know, just a little bit of oomph. A little, little flavor. So I'm excited to see that. I know the CEO, he played a lot of Vega. You know, switched back to the Karin when he got to the finals. Fell a little bit short. But yep. Punk's here to play. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, we saw what happened at uh, the, the Capcom finals where he was able to take Idom in a 5-4, like That's nail-biting right. set. So, yeah. you know, Punk is still sharp, and we're going to get to see him, like, whip out his entire wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's also, too, offline tournaments are so unbelievably important. Everything that you experience around you, it's a different atmosphere. Oh, yeah. And playing-wise, it's a different experience. So sometimes things online can even register a little differently than, oh, yeah. than offline. Plus, offline, there's no regions. It's true. So... Anything can happen today. It's going to yeah. be very exciting. Yeah, you get some of the best players from all over the world, and at that point, it doesn't come, it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter, like what your creed is. It matters what you deliver on the sticks. What happens on the screen, and that's, that's what's so cool. Yeah, that's what's so exciting. And like the feeling is electric. Even as you can see, you got people in the crowds. We have everybody getting comfortable. So many people enjoying this tournament, and like the nerves when you're on stage. I've, I've been doing this for like five years now, even as a competitor, longer as a competitor, but that as a commentator, I got shakes. I got, a, I got, I got my little dog tag for qualifying, and I'm, I, I was nervous, so I can't. I feel for these players. Yeah. I feel for them. I'm in that same. I'm in their boat. Oh, give me the Ryu and Ken. El Clasico. Oh, that's it. Nah, you know, it's not. <laughs> and Ryu, Ryu also, a bit of a buff to his hard uh, fireball. Oh yeah. I believe it moves a little bit faster. Ironically, the exact opposite for Guile had a little bit of a nerf to his projectile. So, yeah, we're going to have to see. This is a super turbo match up here. Oh, yeah. And the, the thing that's great about this, too, is they gave Ryu a lot of different options. Um, they gave him some of his old flavor back from Street Fighter 4, where he can now do the con do a e, uh, DP anti-air into Ultra to pretty much get that same, like, classic, oh, yeah. my, like, light DP, Juggle. light DP super. Like, that's that's what everybody tried to do day one, and they couldn't do it, and they're like, why? What happened Now here? they gave it back. They were like, here, everybody gets their tools back. Yeah, Are that's sorry. Right. We're sorry they were on layaway for so long, but they're available once again. But that's the fun thing about yeah. patches oh, yeah. is that you can get and adjust and do all kinds of things. Um, v skills and V triggers that weren't as utilized can be more active. And it breathes new life into this, uh, this season. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're getting right into this right now. Getting set up. It's going to be Ryu versus Guile. Ryu with the changes to his fireball is going to have a, a little bit of an easier time in this match, but you're right. This is El Clasico, the super turbo the Super Turbo Session on stream right now for Street Fighter V. Ryu vs. Guile, thank you for tuning in to Texas Showdown, and we're going to get right into this. Zinsu vs. Snapplecap. Oh, Solar Plexus. That's it. First big damage is going to go to Zinsu. Guile working his way out of the corner a little bit here. Yeah, and this is a place where Guile feels he doesn't, like, he's not too pressured because he's already going to want to be, like, keeping that charge consistently, holding that ground. But the screen real estate is incredibly important because you're going to start running out of options as you try to go forward. But double counter hit. Snapple Cap finds a great way out of the corner. That's right. Keeping that pressure up with those sonic booms. Oh, yep. Dash check right there. A little bit too slow on the side of Zim you know. Stun bar melting away oh, for yeah. Ryu. Trying to find that safe way to get some pressure in on Guile. Raw activation. And right now, Snapple Cap hasn't really been feeling too much pressure. Um, even though there are a couple hits here and there, finally put into the corner. I need to see some throw pressure. Oh, wow, the bait immediately! Nice. Guile taking a huge amount of damage, fighting his way back. Ooh. Oh, and the crouching medium kick's going to close it out in Zimzu's favor. Yeah, definitely commentator cursed on the side of Snapple. Sunny felt totally fine immediately. Got his don He got donkey kicked into oblivion. That's it. Nothing he could do against Zimzu, oh. but... Snapple Cat still fighting back, really changing the tempo right now instead of holding down back and he forces the corner, really Ooh. pushing the envelope. But that is one of the drawbacks That's when it. you overextend. Strong jump in there for yeah. Ryu. Projectiles cross on the screen. Ooh, one more touch. Close to stun here, Guile. Oh, oh Ryu caught on the blade. 
Yep, there we go. Nice anti-air for Guile. Yeah, now Ryu the one trying to fight out of the corner. Zimsu looking for the opportunity, but Snapple Cap checking excellently with the low forwards. And that oh, was not the time you wanted the Sonic! Fantastic. We are tied round for round. Zimsu and Snapple. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ryu got both. Yeah. Ryu got both. That's it. Zimsu. Yeah. First game on the board. Fantastic. Yeah, and really quick turnarounds there too. It did look like Snapple was in command for the almost the entire first round, but Zimsu able to really turn it up. Put um, Snapple Cap in situations where, you know, he overextended with one Sonic Boom and the jump in was just so potent. And I, again, that's the tail of the yeah. tape right now. Not adapting to the jump ins, getting a little bit too, um, a little bit too dangerous. Yeah, too yeah. comfortable with the booms. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Ryu putting himself in that exact positioning where he knows he can get access over those projectiles. Oh, it's a follow up into Tatsu. And going straight back to midstream, feeling comfortable. Great. There we go. Great. Snapple Cap finally with the anti air. And that's something that's super important. Okay, let's see exactly here. Guile keeping the pressure up with Sonic Booms. Both characters at roughly 50% health. Ooh. Oh, activation. Yep, that was huge. Double double flash kick now. Going to go ahead and move forward. Upside down kick. Yes, the V trigger still active, but now both sides available. Run up throw. What is the mix going to be? He was too afraid of flash kick right there. Nice. Oh. Great response on the EX Fireball. Guile still has a decent... Oh, his V-Trigger is running out. However, Reuse, though... Yeah, one pixel left, but any confirm will lead to critical art. There is actually no V-Reversal! Snapple had any touch, any touch into a hit confirm, and it was definitely his round, but... Zimisu saw that coming, knew exactly what Snapple was looking for, caught him on the walk forward, and gets the finish quickly. Great fourth of damage there, gone right away. Strong jump in once again. Guile close to stun. Yeah, trying to keep that pressure going, but again, nice the jump in gets player, answered. Yeah. Snapple Cap has stopped throwing the Sonic Blooms, though, and that's, you need that as part of your game plan. You can't be uncomfortable go. throwing them. Good because, damage here for Guile. Yeah. Now, he does have access to a full critical arc bar. Anything can happen right now. Nice activation off the knockdown, getting a ton of screen real estate in oh, the block. That's it. Block that flash kick. It's yep. going to close it out. Close it out in uh, Zimsu's favor. Yeah, the thing about that set that was really, really developing is as soon as Zimsu got hit by one EX flash kick, right. every single dash up on Oki was dash wait. Yeah. Every single one yeah. did not meet it and another time for the entire set. And at a point, Snapple Cap was pushed into a position where he felt the only option was the EX Flash Kick, mm -hmm. but Zimsu didn't change the game plan. Just continued to block, take forward, not take the meaty. Right. Because he already knew.